Stan Gibalisco here to show you one of the major hazards that aircraft face particularly when they try to land and that is a downdraft of air sometimes called a downburst sometimes in a thunderstorm called a microburst uh, of course microbursts are easy to avoid during landings for aircraft you simply don't land during a thunderstorm but downdrafts are quite common in thunderstorms and they are especially common when a thunderstorm reaches the end stages of its active life and begins to collapse producing ferocious downdrafts of air and the air when it gets near the surface shown by this green line splatters out because it can't go down any further it goes out this purple or lavender arrow shows the general motion of the storm or other disturbance that's producing the microburst so you'll notice that the motion of the splattering air adds to the motion of the, the disturbance itself in on this side of the image on this side of the image the um, the motion of the, the, the disturbance takes away from the speed of the air as it hits the surface here. So suppose an aircraft is trying to land on a runway shown again by the green line and one of these downdrafts happens to hit. The aircraft will first encounter a strong headwind which will increase its air speed considerably causing it to more or less speed up in effect and perhaps try to gain altitude then it reaches the center of the downdraft where the air pushes straight down on it bringing it closer to the surface and finally it reaches this part of the microburst where the uh, airspeed of the of the craft is greatly reduced and that's when it suddenly loses altitude and crashes and uh, well sometimes crashes either that or produces great difficulty for the pilot as I said pilots generally try to avoid thunderstorms especially during landing or any kind of heavy rain shower for that reason but once in a while downdrafts like this occur in clear air and that is when they present the greatest danger Stan Gibalisco signing off until next time, so long.